Okay, Duncan, in charge of Everton again. What were your feelings when you were asked to manage the team? Yeah, I was very honoured. Of course, I was. Um, when the, the club have turned to me again um, through this the, the difficult time that we've, we've been having. So, unfortunately, we lost our manager. Um, but, you know, I'm uh, absolutely it was, it was over the moon, you know what I mean, that they turned to me. Why does it mean so much to you? We saw last time when you were in charge. We know what Everton means to you. Feels like the club grabbed you more than a quarter of a century ago emotionally, and it's never let you go, has it? It hasn't, you know, it's been a long love affair, hasn't it? Um, no, it's, it's, it, I mean, look, obviously, you, everybody knows what I feel about the club. I've been here a long time since I was a young man, you know, I came down at, at 22, I think I was, and uh, I'm 50 now, you know what I mean? So it's a long, long time. But of course, the relationship with the fans has been key for me, you know what I mean? They know how much I love them. Have you spoken with the owner and chairman a huge amount since you've taken over? No, no, a huge amount because obviously I've got to make sure that I'm looking after the training and looking after everything. But I've spoken to them, and they've been very supportive. And of course, uh, you know, obviously we're all we're all willing for Saturday to get a result. Are you able to tell us a little bit about those conversations? I know there was a meeting with Mr. Ken Wright, wasn't there? Yeah, the chairman. Yeah, he had a meeting with us and um, spoke very well, of course, and uh, talked about unity and you know the Everton way and let's get our, our fight back and the spirit. You know, because of course the chairman's very passionate. You know what I mean? Um, and he's, he's, he's a great Everton man. So, um, no, it's all about unity and, 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 and you know, make sure we get that bit of fight back. Those words, unity and spirit, they feel really important at the moment, really pertinent. Do you feel there's that common goal? You've got the owner, the board, the chairman, the players and staff all really working to drive Everton forwards again. Absolutely. I think we need everybody. No, in, in our corner, I think it's uh, as you all know, it's a, uh, as we all know, it's a really difficult time at the moment. But the results have not been great. Well, they've been really, really poor, to be honest. Yeah. So um, we need to make sure that we're all together, everybody, uh, everybody in, the, in Finch Farm, everybody, in the, everybody at the stadium, you know, everybody in the city. We need to try and get behind us. You know what I mean? I'm sure they will. Do you feel that everybody, as well, just wants the best for Everton? Everything they're trying to do is with the best intentions and to do the best for Everton, and ultimately bring the success that everybody wants to this club. Yeah, well, absolutely. But we should always be doing our best for Everton, shouldn't we? As you know, that's what, that's what we do. We're Evertonians, we love our club. We, you know, we fight uh, as hard as we can for it. You touched on the fans. What part can the Evertonians play in generating an uplift? Well, same again. What happened to me a couple of years ago, I think, when we, we played the Chelsea at home, it was an electric atmosphere. It was one of the best I've experienced at Goodison. Um, and I'm sure they'll be well, well up for it, you know what I mean? And we really need them to push us across the line, you know what I mean? For the whole game. I really, I really kind of emphasise how important they are to us and it, for the 90 minutes. And I know they'll be with us. Can you tell us what difference that makes? Because you've seen it from both sides of the white line. You've played and felt that support. you felt it as manager. What does that do to you? What difference does it make to you on the field? It lifts you, doesn't it? It just lifts you. It gives you confidence. Of course, you know, we're all going to make mistakes. I make mistakes, you know what I mean? Like that happens in football, make mistakes. So people have got to keep, by, keep behind the players as much as they can. I know at times it's been difficult, but they need to really stay with the players and, uh, and keep going to the 90 minutes because the players will have to keep going to the 90 minutes. It's going to be an incredibly tough game for us. Um, and, and everybody needs to be in that state and keep going to the, to the final whistle and hopefully we'll get the right result. You're working with John Ebrill and Alan Kelly as assistants. Can you tell us a little bit about what they bring in terms of their qualities, both on the training ground, their coaching and as people? The calmness. Yeah. Calmness, I'd probably say. Yeah, of course, incredible knowledge. I mean, Alan Kelly's been everywhere, he's done everything. You know, He's uh, got fantastic knowledge. And of course, John, I played with John. Um, calm and influence, um, you know, intelligent guy. So, yeah, it's a good mix. Leighton Baines as well. What is he bringing on the training ground? He completes your coaching staff. Yeah, Leighton. I mean, obviously, he's, um, Leighton's a great fella, a unbelievable player, a legend of the club. Very intelligent man. He's just starting his coaching journey, but I've always, I've, all, I've noticed in the last two days how far he's come. You know what I mean? He really is a, a good coach, and he's getting better and better. And he will, he will go into great things in the future. But uh, no, Leighton, of course, he's a legend of the football club, and absolutely delighted that he's, sta- he's going to be sitting next to me. You say he's a legend of the club, and you know what the supporters think about him. How important as well to have somebody else who knows the club inside out is an icon of the club and he was in the dressing room very recently as well absolutely and i mean it's, it's a difficult time for us it's a really difficult time and we need everybody fighting and pushing for the club in the right direction of course leighton's gave his you know his life to the club um so yeah i'm, I'm absolutely delighted that he's there and he'll, he'll add a lot to me a lot to my staff 
There's a lot of very good players in that dressing room as well, international players from big countries. You've got confidence in the talent in this squad? Absolutely. I, I, every time I go, I've got confidence in the team, confidence in the players. I think I can win every game and that'll be no different than Saturday. We've got a lot of great players in there and they'll step up on Saturday, I'm sure. You've only had two training sessions with them so far, but are you seeing the desire from them as well and the right attitude to turn around the form? Yeah, I mean, obviously, look, they've, they've, they've been working hard. They've been working hard for the, the, through the last last few weeks, you know what I mean? But, of course, um, the results weren't quite, weren't quite there. So, uh, you know, but no, they've, been, they've always worked hard. But, no, we're pushing them. I'm pushing them as hard as I possibly can, you know what I mean? We've seen videos of the first training session. There was a lot of intensity. Players seemed to be really enjoying it. Was that the first thing, just to get them enjoying again and working hard at the same time? Well, yeah, working hard, but we all love working hard, don't we? And once you've done a good day's work, you feel good about yourself, don't you? So that's it. So, you know, I'll, I'll go in there and make sure they work as hard as they possibly can. And they feel great then coming off the, come off the, the training pitch, as we all do when you put a good day, day's work in. So how do you generate that improvement in performance? Well, as you said, you've, you've touched it on yourself. You know, you've got, to, you've got to improve the tempo, you've got to improve the aggressiveness of the team, you've got to get your message across. And, you know, you've just got to keep chipping away at the players. You know what I mean? How important it is that we've got to get uh, victories because we're sliding towards... The bottom, when we're in the bottom end of the table, so we really need to make sure that we get ourselves out of this. And uh, you know, I'm emphasising that you know how important this game is Saturday is to us. But the results, of course, is massively important. But we need an improvement. We need an improvement, and that's it. You've touched on a few of the things there: the aggression and the tempo. But what are the qualities you think every Everton team should have every time they go on the pitch? Well, they should give everything. That's it. They should give everything. They should they should run themselves into the ground. They roll up their sleeves and fight for the club in every single game. Is just imagine you asked a fan, go and put an Everton shirt on, get on that pitch. What would they do for us? So they need to do that. How do you restore the confidence in time for Saturday as well? Upbeat sessions, uh, working hard, good messages, clear, simple messages. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, getting in amongst the players and really, you know, telling a few home truths as well. You know, because the past has been no good enough, but it's in the past. We move forward. The game's coming up now, let's get ready for it, and that's the message is. And I know you're not going to give away anything tactically, but is there a big tactical focus as well? Last time, I think, perhaps you surprised a few people by the tactical nuances. You only made two changes for your first game, but there was a change in style and formation, wasn't there? Yeah, God, two years ago, yeah. There was a change, yeah, because you've got to use your best players in the best positions, that's why I see it. You know, you, 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 get, you, work your round, you work around your thing with your best players, the ones that, are, ones that are, ones, ones you think are going to... Be the best on that day and affect affect the game. You know what I mean, the way you want it to affect us. That's what that's in my mind. But, uh, work on that first, and then we we'll go we we'll go from there. You know what I mean. Say so it was more than two years ago now. You were in charge, which seems incredible. Have you learned a lot in that period since then? I think you're always learning, aren't you? You're always learning every day. We're all learning. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm learning how to do an interview. Um, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm getting better though. Yeah, no bad. Um, so we're all learning, isn't we? And of course I know a lot of different styles. Um, I'm a in man. I date my way. I always have been. And uh, But yeah, of course you're always learning. I'd like to think I've learned a bit in the last two years. Yeah. Inevitably, Duncan, people are going to want to know if you want the job full time. But I imagine your focus is just completely on the upcoming games, is it? That's absolutely right. That is my brief. That's it. I'll only be in charge for the upcoming games. That's it. The club are in a process just now to go through their candidates, and um, you know they'll they'll go through that process, and I'm sure they'll find the right man for the job. You said that you're feeling very kind of emotional in terms of leading the team. It's hard to sleep and all those sorts of things. How important to keep a lid on your emotions, and those are the players. So come twelve thirty on Saturday, that's when you're ready to go. Coming to boiling point. Yeah, um, yeah. I think just be yourself. You know what I mean. That's what I just say to anybody. Just be yourself. I'll be myself on Saturday. That's it. Um, I'll be focused on the game. Of course, I took four the last time. I was focused on their games. So yeah, no. You know, this will be. Um, I'll be focused on the game. You know what I mean. But I'll just be myself. Any early team news ahead of the game? Uh, no, I think we're, we're not too bad to be honest. You've got quite a quite a few boys training the day, but um, there'll be twenty four players out the other day, outfield players. You know what I mean. So uh, we've got quite a good uh, number of players there. One or two problems. Alan's struggling. Um, so he'll, he'll be the biggest out, like. And just finally, any message for you to the Evertonians ahead of the game on Saturday? Get behind the team. Be yourself. That's it.